Hello and welcome to Rogers Public Library's Fandom Friday, where a member of the Rogers Public Library staff tells you something that they are a fan of. I'm Evan Day, young adult librarian, and today I'd like to talk to you about uh, Gary Schmidt novels. Now, Gary Schmidt is a English professor at Grand Rapids, Michigan, at Calvin University, and he's written several books uh, for young adults and children. So I just want to talk about a few of them today. Uh, one that I read that I liked was The Wednesday Wars. Uh, the Wednesday Wars are about Holling Hoodhood, who in the year 1967 uh, is attending class in a New York school uh, with seventh grade, his seventh grade teacher, Mrs. Baker. And uh, he's convinced Mrs. Baker hates him because every Wednesday afternoon, Half the class goes off to Hebrew school because they're Jewish. Half the class goes off to catechism because they are Roman Catholic. And he is the lone Presbyterian student in this school. And so he has to stay there with Mrs. Baker, who makes him learn Shakespeare. That's how he spends his Wednesday afternoons. Just, you know, he's in, reading Shakespeare. He's not interested in Shakespeare. He likes baseball. He admires Mickey Mantle and the New York Yankees. Uh, but Mrs. Baker, every Wednesday afternoon, has him learning and understanding Shakespeare. Now, if you know anything about the 1960s, you know that this is a time of a lot of social upheaval. And uh, there is the Vietnam War going on in the background and a lot of concerns. And uh, that works as a backdrop to a lot of the stuff that's going on here. Uh, eventually starts to have all sorts, you know, there's all sorts of fun incidents like, you know, um, vermin that show up and uh, create a ruckus during one of their afternoon sessions. Lots of different uh, fun, goofy stories. But he does start to understand maybe there is something to learning Shakespeare in a little bit. You know, hey, they, she goes to him and says, hey, would you like to participate in a play? And he's like, oh, am I going to do that? Uh, it's a long learning experience. It includes uh, Shakespeare, the New York Yankees, uh, the Vietnam War, all this backdrop uh, in 1960s New York uh, makes for, I think, a very humorous and very touching book at times. So again, The Wednesday Wars by uh, Gary Schmidt. Another book Gary Schmidt wrote uh, was a Newbery Honor in... Michael L. Prince Award honor book called uh, Lizzie Bright and the Buckminster Boy. Uh, Turner Buckminster, Buckminster has just uh, moved to a coastal city in Maine. It's the early 20th century, 1900s, and he is a pastor's kid whose father has been called to pastor a church there, and he is having trouble fitting in with these students, with the townspeople there, with the other kids, you know, not really making a whole lot of friends, until he meets Lizzie. Uh, Lizzie Bright Griffin, who is a member of a community of, uh, you know, the descendants of slaves and uh, other people who live on a place called Malaga Island. Um, this is an island just off the coast, and they, you know, they're not very well regarded by the town. Uh, a lot of rumors about uh, being thieves and just poor, derelict people living in these uh, shacks there. But they, they live, work there, they, you know, they fish for lobsters and stuff like that, and, she, and he begins to become friends with Lizzie. And this, you know, a white kid making friends with a black girl in the earliest 20th century, a little controversy there, but then the real controversy starts when the adults, the elders of the town, want to kick all these people off the island basically remove all the people from this island community in order to build a hotel and to, you know, put it up for renovation. So it starts to become a situation that's um, difficult and even a little bit dangerous for Turner and Lizzie as they uh, face this situation. And it's a big growing experience and, uh, uh, you know, I really like the book. I like the friendship between Turner and Lizzie. I like Turner, you know, trying to adjust to this new town. It is a very sad story. I will I'll let you know if you're wondering, uh, is this going to be happy, go lucky, good feel good story? No, it's a very sad one. It's also based on real events. Uh, the island community that's mentioned here was, in fact, an actual real life thing. And uh, uh, 
Gary Schmidt makes a little author's note about, uh, you know, the creative liberties he took in creating this story. Uh, even Lizzie herself is based on a girl who was a real uh, person that one time existed. Anyway, uh, it's a very well-written book, Lizzie Bright and the Buckminster Boy. Uh, just one brief moment. Uh, he's written a lot of other books I can mention here, but uh, like Orbiting Jupiter, I think, is a recent YA novel. But I also want to mention uh, his nonfiction work. He's written several uh, books along those lines. I have uh, William Bradford, uh, Plymouth's Faithful Pilgrim. William Bradford, of course, was a uh, historic person from the uh, pilgrims that settled in uh, the New World. And uh, this sort of gives you his biography and uh, it shows that there's a bit of range for what Gary Schmidt is doing. And, you know, Gary Schmidt goes to Calvin College. A lot of his uh, books do have a theme of uh, faith or uh, church in there as well. And this gives you a picture of William Bradford and how he helped uh, the uh, co colonists in Plymouth survive in those very trying and difficult uh, first couple of years. Anyway, that's just uh, a short video and a Fandom Friday uh, promotion for Gary Schmidt. We'll be back next week with something new. In the meantime, have a wonderful weekend, everybody.